Hey, welcome back to Diode Press. I'm Graham. If you're a longtime subscriber, thanks for coming back for a new video and supporting the channel. And if you're new here, thanks for checking out the video and also make sure to subscribe to keep up when I post new projects. I've made a few projects in the past for a fellow YouTube creator, AVE, and he reached out to commission me for a new project. He's going to be using this image to have shirts made with some additional text on them, but he also wanted an addition of hand pulled prints. So I wanted to thank him for the continued support and let's jump right into the project. Whenever I do commission work, I try and make sure to send lots of progress steps and pictures. In this case, he wanted a bleating goat and specific text, and I was pretty much free from there. Once I had a rough design, I transferred it over to a linoleum block to begin the carving. So by simply painting the block with white paint and then sticking down the inkjet print while it's still wet, once it dries, it lets you rub away the paper from the back, leaving you a nice transferred image. It's not perfect and pieces peel up here and there, but it's really just a guide to keep me close anyways. And now it's off to spend many hours carving this image using a variety of carving tools. I'm using Gamlin oil-based ink for this print, as well as Reeves BFK printmaking paper. Once the block's inked up and ready to print, I decided I want to upgrade my registration jig before I run it through the press. I originally made this for thin plywood, but the mounted line was a lot thicker, so over to the CNC router. And here's how this addition works. I can set the edge of my paper against the edge and then adjust the placement exactly where I want it, which is gonna be really helpful if I get into registering multiple blocks for multicolor prints. Then I can simply tighten the bolts to secure it in place. Now back to printing. There's a portion of the block that has a slight warp in it, and it's not giving me solid coverage. So I'm just hand burnishing this area on each of the prints just to make sure it transfers fully. And a few print sessions later, and I have around 30 of these printed and drying. Next up, I want to emboss my shop logo chop in the print. So back over to the CNC to make this tiny plate out of ABS plastic.
Now I can register the block on the press and run each print through. The blind embossing on the front keeps the print looking clean, and then I've numbered and signed the complete edition on the back of the sheets. And that wraps up this project. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the videos when they're posted, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help support this channel, you can check out the Diode Press Patreon page where I post behind the scenes photos as well as other patron rewards. Thanks.